Hey everybody, welcome back to The Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Ben. And today, we're drinking bourbon. Right. You know, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Is that a... Uh, it's, it's not a very good reference, but this, this is a, uh, a story. <laughs> Let's go ahead and bring it on in and we'll finish the story. We've got Bam Hemingway Rye. All right, new bottle on the shelf we've never had, never even heard of. Maybe you, I should go with The Sun Also Rises. Yeah, well, you made some literary reference, but I think you might have had the wrong well, person. Yeah, that, that may have been someone else. Is that but, why uh, you said it was a bad reference? <laughs> it was a bad reference. So this is Hemingway Rye, mm -hmm. and it's a blend. Uh, it's a 90% um, MGP. 95 rye, Indiana rye, MGP, and then 10%... Kentucky 95% rye. So, the, so meaning that the mash bill is 95% rye. Yeah. It's 10% of the one from Kentucky, 10% of the MGP. Blend of straight rye whiskeys finished in rum seasoned Oloroso sherry casks. What does that even mean? I have no idea what that means. So, uh, the, but the seasoned. Yeah. Usually it just means, I don't know, maybe they put Splashed. some rum. <laughs> maybe they aged a rum in a sherry cask and then they and then, did yeah. this. So, uh, but so six years for the stuff from MGP, the okay. ninety percent, and then four years for the stuff from uh, Green River. Okay. So. Well, Green River meaning. No, that was sourced from them. Green River Distillery in Kentucky. It was okay because yeah. wasn't there a story that the. So and yeah, so this is a new label started by the guy that was a master distiller at Green River, and there's a huge story. Check out the website; they have a great video. Yeah, and there's a QR code on the back of the there bottle is. if you have one. Um, great nose on this. Um, we recently had a rum finished rye and loved it. Yes, true enough. Also from MGP. Oh, was it? Well, the oh, yeah, the, the, the juice was, but it's a Doc Swinson's. Doc Swinson. I'm assuming yeah, yeah. they're the ones who finished it. But right. yeah, this has a great nose. I am getting a little bit of the the Caribbean vibe, you know, the rum kind of influence. Sure. It's got some nice bright fruity sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting those like. Kind of clove notes. Clove and ginger. Yeah, I'm not yeah. getting any of that that you would usually assume you're going to get on, especially 95% mash bill rye. Right. This but has it, got some really nice sweetness, but it does kind of have like those, um, like some just some fruity notes. Almost like sugar cane, though. <sighs> yeah, there's, um. boy, that's really, really nice on the nose. Yeah, nice and rich. I'm going for it. Let's find out. Cheers. That's nice and bright. Yeah, that really is. But we didn't mention the proof here. It is uh, 102. 102. <laughs> That's really nice. Mm -hmm. It um, It's almost like a floral kind of. Yeah, I'm with you the, on that. The finish really pushes it more towards the rum direction. Now, I don't drink a lot of rum, so I'm by no means an expert there. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's a really nice rye and a little bit notice of, I don't maybe get much of the sherry cask. <laughs> Kind of notice? Maybe so, that's where some of that kind of bright maybe, yeah, fruity maybe. sort of note comes from. Could be. Um, interesting, yeah, you probably can't see on the bottle from here, but maybe in the uh, fancy bottle pans, you can see there's like the lettering on the front. These are like glued on here. And it's from an old-fashioned typewriter. Is it really? Yeah, that's, okay, that's cool. the reference in the, on the website. You can see oh, Hemingway that, writer. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so. I, I get it. I get yeah. it. $80. I don't think we said that before. Ooh. So that hurts a little bit. It, it does, but it definitely craft and smaller distillery and the big story behind it. So yep. But yeah, if if they once they get to the point where they're distributing it, it's available maybe a bit cheaper. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. And I I do have to say that I'm really starting to be a fan of rum finished. 
bourbon and rice. Yeah, the, the rum finish thing is, I think that that's going to, I know cognac and yep. Armagnac are kind of having their day in the sun right now for like which the is also awesome. ones, which are, yeah, they're fantastic as well. Oh, this is really good. I'm like, every this sip. It's getting is better and better with yeah. every sip. Yeah, I'm very impressed with this. You 80 know, bucks is a little steep. It is. So I'm not a uh, ice cube in the bourbon kind of guy. Mm -hmm. It's always, this is how we drink. Well, always. you're in luck because this is a rye. You can throw an ice cube in it. But it's the second time in a row I've had a finished rye where I've thought, you know what? I think, A, it's super hot out right now. We're middle of summer and it's crazy yep. hot. But I honestly think that this could take an ice cube and not sure. immediately be destroyed. You know what I think maybe adds to that a little bit? Is there something about this? Like I said, it doesn't have those clove notes and those overly spicy notes. Right. Um, and those are good too, but rye I feel like can, they can either go that direction or this direction and the rum finish and sherry finish is obviously going to, you know, dictate some of that. Yep. But this has like a refreshing yes. vibe to it. And I totally think that agree. that's why when you said the ice cube, mm -hmm. I don't really like to put ice in whiskey either because I just don't particularly like it cold. Sure. But the vibes that you get off of this, like this is a good summer pour. Mm -hmm. I think so. You know, and it's got that refreshing, there's, there's, it's got the sweetness, mm -hmm. but there's some fruitiness to it as well. And there's just, I don't know, there's an interesting note there that, and it must be, because I'm kind of getting the same note that we got off that Doc Swinson's mm -hmm. exploratory It's cast. got a bit of rum. It's the rum. It's and a little bit of like a very light molasses-y kind of note, the sugar cane or molasses. However, that right, works. but it adds like some sort of brightness to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting, and so yeah, I think uh, I, I can officially declare, just like you said, I'm also a fan of rum finished rye, and yeah. I'm going to be on the lookout for some of those for sure. Read, yep. And everything MGP seems to make is amazing. So, yeah, I'm interested to see where this goes. You know, if they're going to continue with the sourcing, and just I'm assuming they're doing their own finishing. I'm curious if they and blend. I, I don't know the answer if they're going to start distilling their own. Yeah. Or if they're just going to continue to blend from others, which which both are good. Like we both had enough sourced. So this whiskeys. is the former master distiller from Green River. Is this yes. company just called Hemingway? Like Hemingway? Um, I don't know if that's the company or if just oh, this here is we go. one of their labels. Bottled by Hemingway Whiskey Company, Lakeland, Florida. Okay, cool. So yeah, be on the look. Maybe that's their Florida vibe. So they're going for the tropical. They want the rye or the nice. uh, the rum. Mm -hmm. Make a summer refreshing rye. If that was what they were going for, they definitely they succeeded, succeeded in it for yeah, sure. So, awesome. yeah, the price point's a little bit high, but you know, I mean, like you said, they're a newer distillery or whatever. But they're doing a great job. If they chose the blend and the finishing, they yep. did an awesome job with this. Yeah, totally great. Really, really good. All right. Well, this has been Hemingway Rye on the Bourbon Note. I'm Ben. I'm Greg. Till next time. See you next time.